A fire alarm story was in the news recently due to the fire authorities in Sweden insisting a hotel made from ice will require a fire alarm to apply for the building permit to open to the public. The media headlines was of the sort of is this a joke or April Fools or has the authorities gone mad? However, if you look more closely at how the authorities came to this decision, you may appreciate their concerns. What the authorities were concerned about is not what could not burn, but what could. Within the hotel and the bedrooms are combustible items such as pillars, reindeer skins, sleeping bags, etc. However, this story does highlight the need to carry out a fire risk assessment, evaluate the risk and decide whether a building requires a fire alarm or any other fire protection equipment. The first step the fire authorities would have taken is to carry out a fire risk assessment. This would predominantly be evaluating the combustible items within the hotel against ignition sources. The next stage would be to consider the risk of the ignition sources igniting the combustible materials and if this were to occur what would be the effect. An evaluation of the escape routes and exits would have to be undertaken. Is the escape lighting sufficient to use the escape routes and exits safely? In addition, the assessment must identify the people at risk. Is there sufficient passive protection within the hotel to prevent the fire or smoke from spreading? From what I'm led to believe, there are no fire doors and the rooms to the bedrooms are reindeer skins, which are of a combustible material. Therefore, the smoke could easily travel onto the escape routes and into adjoining bedrooms. With the hotel having as much as 85 rooms, smoke travelling unheeded can make escape from the hotel difficult. Last but not least, the hotel would have to have a good fire strategy and management system in place. When you consider all these points mentioned, and remember a hotel will have a large amount of people sleeping who will not be familiar with the building Maybe having a fire alarm installed to give an early warning of fire or smoke is not such a far-fetched idea. The fire authorities would have taken all these factors into account and have come to the conclusion that a fire alarm system is required. Therefore, the next logical question would be what type of system would be suitable for a structure that is made of ice and is at a temperature of approximately minus 5 degrees? Well, you have a choice of a wired or a wireless fire alarm system. Attempting to install a wired system would be time consuming and having to secure the cables could be a problem. Therefore the obvious choice would be a wireless fire alarm system. But this could only be possible if there is no moisture in the air to damage the electronic components within the detectors. Reviewing the temperature range on the smoke detector data sheets of the three leading wireless fire alarm manufacturers in the UK, Hi-Fi, EMS and EDA, Hi-Fi detectors can operate at minus 30 degrees, EMS detectors can operate at minus 10 degrees and EDA can operate at 0 degrees. Therefore, it would appear that Hi-Fi and EMS would be within the temperature range for this type of project. However, ensuring a successful wireless fire alarm installation, especially with this type of project, depends on whether you choose a company that knows the advantages and disadvantages of the equipment on the market and has a vast amount of experience installing wireless fire alarms. However, if there is moisture in the air, enough to damage the electronic components within the detectors, then a different approach would be required and I would opt for an air sampling system. Air sampling systems from manufacturers such as Vesda or Stratos are renowned for their low temperature applications such as cold storage rooms and applications where there is moisture in the air. Air sampling systems do not have any electronic components within the smoke sampling side of the system. The detection consists of a sampling pipe usually 20 or 25 millimeters in diameter and is located within the area that requires detection. The air sampling unit contains the electronic components and this unit can be situated in a remote location. The detector has been tested to operate at temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees. You can see by just considering a few points of the installation that it pays to use an experienced and reputable fire alarm designer. A good fire alarm designer will take into account items such as temperature and moisture and ensure that the system put forward will meet the client's needs and not prone to false alarms. Fire Systems Limited has over 20 years experience 
in designing and installing all types of fire alarm systems for many applications, especially wireless systems. If you have any projects or unusual ones such as a nice hotel, why not contact our office on 0208 541 5646 or visit our website on www.firesystems.co.uk